Have you ever wondered, is South India better than North India? This question stirs up a fascinating exploration into the diverse cultural, geographical, and historical aspects of these two distinct regions. Today we dive into the various aspects that define these two diverse regions of India. India, a land of diversity, is often divided into North and South based on geography, culture, and language. The Northern region, with its fertile plains, contrasting mountains, and a multitude of dialects, paints a vivid tapestry of life. Meanwhile, the South, with its distinctive Dravidian languages, coastal landscapes, and unique traditions, offers a different but equally compelling picture. Each region, with its own charm, contributes to the rich tapestry that is India. But how do these differences play out in everyday life, and which region comes out on top? From the Himalayan landscapes to the rich history, North India holds a unique charm. The region is a delightful blend of diverse cultures, flavorsome food, and a vibrant lifestyle. Its climate ranges from the biting cold of the Himalayas to the scorching heat of the plains. Festivals are celebrated with grandeur, reflecting the region's rich heritage. The cuisine, with its tantalizing spices, offers a culinary journey that is hard to resist. The North, with its distinct charm, offers an experience like no other. South India, on the other hand, is a world of lush landscapes and deep-rooted traditions. It's a realm where monsoons shape life and spice-scented breezes fill the air. A place where sari-clad women and dhoti-wearing men uphold a rich cultural tapestry. The cuisine here is a symphony of flavors with coconut and tamarind playing the lead roles. Life moves at a slower pace, allowing time to savor the beauty of the present moment. The South, with its unique allure, provides an equally captivating experience. So is South India better than North India? Rather than declaring a winner, let's appreciate the distinct charm each region holds. Both North and South India offer a rich tapestry of experiences that are impossible to rank. In the end, it's not about which is better, but about appreciating the diverse and rich experiences that both North and South India offer.